In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the inspect element command to study and debug your HTML web page. You can also debug your CSS and JavaScript using this method. First, we will take up the Chrome browser, which has inbuilt debugging capabilities. So let us start. So when you want to inspect your web page, what you have to do is right click on any element that you want to see and then do an inspect element. You will see on the lower part of the window, a extra area comes up, which is the debugging portion. So let us take, there are a lot of things in this debugging portion. We will take them one by one. The most important part is the elements part which you will be using most of the time you see a small toolbar at the bottom this shows the hierarchy of the element that you did the inspect element on and once you go over this you will see that uh, ruler has appeared on the main window which gives the coordinates of different elements S and as you move along the elements or in the hierarchy, you will see them being highlighted. And you will also see the position or the left and top corner of the position. You will see a yellow box which has come up showing the size, the width and height of that particular element. Now you see that certain portion of the web page has become blue. So this is the element that we are hovering over with the mouse. As we go down, we see that different elements are being highlighted with the light blue shade. You will also see a light cream color coming up, peach color, which we will, which shows the margin of that particular element. Here you see that the element also has a light green color which shows the padding of the element. Now as we go down the hierarchy we see that the element of interest comes into view and its container elements are still being highlighted. So finally when we come to the area that we have clicked that is highlighted. You will also see that area being selected over here now you can select any other also which will highlight that particular different area so let us go back to our original area so here you see that the area that we right clicked to inspect the element is being shown on the right hand side is a very important box which shows what are the styles of that particular element we see that this element doesn't have any inline style. And we see that it has some styles which are coming from this CSS rule, hash active area, which is there in the dbg.css file line number five. So these are the CSS attributes, style attributes that are in this particular file for this particular element, selected element. If you select some other element, its attributes will come up. So let us go back to our original element. And here you see certain checkboxes. So this debugger gives you the ability to dynamically turn on and off various attributes to see what is the effect. So you can try out various things over here. So you can turn off the width to see what happens to the element. Then if you don't like it, then you can again reapply it. You can turn off the height and see that the element is gone. So you better turn it on. And then you can turn off the margin style rule and see what happens. So you see that if we 
remove the margin as defined over here the element actually moves you can even change the background color to see what happens so in addition to turning it on and off you can actually change the values and let us put in some other value over here so you see that the color is changed so you can actually try out different colors in this area to see to quickly see how it will look and then enter the color value into the file for permanent results if you don't want it then you press escape and you are back to your original area you can also edit inline styles for example let us put in a padding over here and you see that the padding has come up the green color shows the padding of that particular element so you can add any color any kind of attribute to see what effect it happens and this will diligently mimic what will happen if you had put in the exact code in the file so this is a very good place to try out different style attributes to finalize what look and feel you want for your website you can also change different attributes by directly editing in the source area so if you double click it then you can edit it similarly for other stuff also you can edit it you can even change the tag you are highly encouraged to try out all these things we are just giving a initial idea of how to go about debugging your web page so you see that in addition to styles there are a lot other things which are present as of now the most important ones are the styles you can also look at the metrics which gives you a visual idea of what are the attributes positioning attributes so if you want the margin the margin will be shown the border this element doesn't have a border so it is not shown the padding we had added some extra padding the padding is shown and you see the actual element the exact dimensions of this element construction is also given another important one is the event listener if you have put some events as we have done over here but you don't see it being triggered then you would like to go over there here and see if it has actually been attached so on the mouse move we see that the div active area it is getting a particular event listener now if you open this up we will see that this event handler has been attached to this event and this attachment has worked properly so this is a good area to see if your code that you have written in html is actually working fine for event listeners so if we go to a place where we haven't put in anything then you will see this default notation of the event that is there to ha handle the default activity the other things are not very important but still you can look at the help or go to google and look for what the other things been as of now we can assure you that they are not very important at this level of expertise